Fox 16 Health Alert. Faulkner County Sheriff says he will not enforce a vaccine mandate for his employees. This comes after the Biden administration says it wants to mandate vaccines for federal agencies with 100 or more workers. Our Jessica Rank joins us now in studio. Jessica, people out there in Faulkner County, they have some mixed feelings about how the sheriff is kind of taking a hard stance on this. Yeah, Cassandra, well, this is the letter that Sheriff Tim Riles sent out to his employees, and he also posted it on Facebook. It's since gotten more than 700 comments. Now, some people are for it, and others are against his decision, but when you ask Riles about it, he says it all boils down to each person's freedom. They have a right to decide whether or not they want to take this vaccine or not. The sheriff in Faulkner County says he's standing up for the people, saying no to a possible vaccine mandate. The sheriff posted this letter on social media this weekend after he sent it out to employees. He says a mandate is unconstitutional and, quote, an attempt of tyranny. It's just completely an overreach to be mandating people to take something that we don't know enough about, at least in my opinion. Royals says the vaccine mandate goes against a person's liberty to make decisions for themselves. And just like those who have gotten the vaccine made a choice, others should be able to do the same. If it is, it works and does the things that they say it does, at the end of the day, the truth is, is if they don't take it and they get deathly sick, well, that's the decision that they have a right to make. James Barbarato, who lives in Faulkner County, says he supports the sheriff's decision. That's good leadership. And says a mandate can turn into a slippery slope. If we as a people can't govern ourselves, you know, we, we lose the American way. On the other side, Lauren Lacey, who also lives in Faulkner County, says a vaccine mandate is no different from other laws. The government says you can't smoke in your car with children because we know it's unsafe. You can't smoke so close to a building because we know it's not good for people to breathe in secondhand smoke. I, I feel like this is the same thing. Sheriff Ryle says if it comes down to it, he won't enforce a mandate and will accept any consequences to do what he says is right. Now, Sheriff Ryle says he's hoping the state government will step up to stop this possible mandate and says he would support a lawsuit against it. Live in studio, I'm Jessica Rank for Fox 16 News. Jessica, thank you. And it's not just the Faulkner County Sheriff issuing a statement on this either. Cleburne County Sheriff Chris Brown also put out a letter saying, in part, quote, I am appalled at some of the absolute dictator-like things we are seeing from the federal government and several of the state governments. It is absolute tyranny. He went on to say, quote, the Cleburne County Sheriff's Office has not and will not mandate the COVID vaccine for any of its employees.